you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as far back as December last year, I wrote to the Secretary of State and urged him to commission a CQC investigation into the crisis in our ambulance service using his powers under the Health and Social Care Act of 2008, because the CQC do not have the powers to conduct thematic reviews themselves. Since I wrote to the Secretary of State, we've had scandal after scandal. In the North East, people were told to phone a friend. In West Midlands, a patient waited more than 22 hours. In the South West, stroke and heart attack victims have to wait more than an hour. And in my own constituency of St Albans, a cancer patient nearing end of life had to wait almost 12 hours in agony for an ambulance to arrive. Mr Speaker, surely it is time for the government to stop sitting on its hands and to commission the CQC to launch a wide-ranging investigation into the crisis facing all of our ambulance services. Yeah. Minister. Can I uh, reassure the Honourable Lady that the CQC have been heavily involved I I in this case and I met with them this morning to hear from them and will be following up with that. And just to reassure that an extra £55 million uh, pounds of investment has gone into the ambulance service nationally and uh, we are aware of the pressures they are facing and we will do all we can to support them. Okay.